Hello, welcome to Rent Narb Studios Comics Reviews Show. Uh, I'm Gary Brantner of Rent Narb Studios Comics. As you may know, my Kickstarter for Rent Narb Studios Alien Pins has ended. It is fully funded. Um, I got $340 out of $300 for goal, so that's cool. Um, I'm wor currently working on the, r the surveys from Backer Kit. It's a new thing. I've never used uh, backer kit before, so I'm I'm setting that up whenever I can. Uh, yeah, I, it, things have been a little busy. I just came off my weekend. I work Saturday, Sunday, Mondays, cleaning at a big warehouse, a food distribution center. So my weekend's over, and now I'm getting into the things of trying that, trying to make the backer kit. Anyway, ugh. sorry that was a little bit of ramble. Anyway, so this is my review show, but I like to start out with the Kickstarters that I am backing right now, or Kickstarters that you should know about. So right now, I'm going to tell you about Adept. Let's see here, where am I at? Why did it... Ah, oh, sorry. I clicked on it, and it didn't go to it. All right, Adept here. Where is Adept? Sorry, phones. It took me to something. To the to uh, their updates, not the uh, Kickstarter. Okay, here we go. Adept the campaign. It looks like uh, we've got 26 days to go on it. It's still a new one. Adept is by Immortal Studios, and it is written by. Tasha Howe and Charlie Stickney. Ooh, Charlie Stickney from uh, White Ash and the Game. So check that one out. It is a 42-page comic book. Very cool-looking art and uh, yeah, adept. It has 26 days left. Get in on that one while you can. Duplicant is a comic about. Uh, human cloning and they clone them for the purpose of cloning uh, healthy organs to transplant. Um, I'm I'm a huge fan of cloning stories but I, I have the first issue I haven't read it yet so we'll have to see where that one goes um, yeah I don't know why I haven't read it yet it's in my read pile why does it keep going to the updates instead of the things, all right. Then Kickstarter? It's usually not like that. Minx Cyberpunks is ending on June 23rd. Check that one out. It is by, um, oh crap, I can't remember the name now. Anyway, uh, it is by the creators of the Mutant Chasers that I've backed before, and um, yeah. Mutant Cy Minx Cyberpunk is out. It ends on June 23rd. Maybe Someday is an anthology series and uh, its predecessor Maybe Someday, what was it? I can't remember. All We Ever Wanted uh, was an anthology. I was interested in it, didn't get in on it, but now I'm getting Maybe Someday and All We Ever Wanted, so I'm getting those two at the same time. Miskatonic High 7 is out on Kickstarter until July 2nd, so uh, get in on that before July. Miskatonic High, as you know, is one of my favorite series to read, so uh, I, I want you guys all to check that one out, jump in on that one. Um, yeah, it's a great series to get in on. It's about a bunch of high schooler kids that get detention, and then they fall into this world of... Uh, monsters and mayhem and a bunch of, bunch of different uh, Lovecraftian things keep coming up. Very good stuff if you're into uh, the Archie Riverdale comics kind of thing and the high schools and it's a, it's a good stuff. It's good stuff to read. Check that one out. Hollowed Issues 1 and 2 is also uh, currently on, chicks, on Kickstarter until June 27th. 
I don't know what Kickstarter is, but don't go there. Stay on Kickstarter. Um, so yeah, Hollowed issues one and two is on Kickstarter till the 27th, and it is. Let's see here. Give you a couple details about what that one is. No, nope, I guess not. Anyway, that's enough Kickstarter right now, because I feel like I'm just rambling. And uh, so, what have I got in the Rentnarb mailbox this week? Rentnarb, Rentnarb mailbox, Rentnarb mailbox, it's in the mailbox, so open it. Sorry about that song. <laughs> okay, so in my mailbox this week, I got Love University number two from uh, Class E. They got me, they sent along this awesome little sticker. It's very tiny, but. Tiny stickers are awesome because my uh, laptop is chock full of stickers and it's easier to find a spot for a tiny sticker than it is for a big sticker. Let me see, show you a little bit. Here's the cover of Love University. That was a print right there. So this is the cover, Love University, and it is about uh, a girl that finds out she's a Cupid. And so she goes to a school where they teach you how to be Cupids. So that one's going into the read pile. Good stuff. Put this in here. And I'll have to stick that sticker on my laptop sometime. Another one I got. Oh yeah, this from Class E. Let's see. This one right here is Le Fay number two. It came with a bunch of cards and prints and bookmarks. And all sorts of fun stuff. Le Fay is... They've uh, described it as, what if Jessica Jones was a fairy, and that's what this is. So, Morgan Le Fay is a very widely known, well, it's a known fairy uh, sorceress girl. And uh, in this story, uh, she was stripped of her wings by Merlin, the magician that most people know the name of. And so she's lived her life without her powers, basically. But she's still immortal and been living her life to whatever she can. Anyway, she in this series, she works as a private detective. She solves some cases and whatnot. And uh, I'm enjoying it so far. It is not meant for kids. There are some adult themes in this. But that adds to its flavor. Because I'm an adult and some of those things interest me. So why not read it? So that, those two just came out of my mailbox this week, or recently. But here's a review I wanted to give you um, a while ago. It, I've already read this and reviewed it, but without not on the show, but on my uh, Facebooks. This is Harriet Tubman, Demon Slayer. And what, what we've got here is issues one. Right here. It was written and created by David Crownson with art by uh, Cortland Ellis. So this first uh, comic right here it's got very good artwork in it here. That was Cortland Ellis, right? Yeah. I love the artwork in this first issue. Uh, there's this... It starts off with a family that is escaping their plantation. They uh, they are uh, African American slaves. Let's see here if I can find some artwork to show you. There we go. So they wake up in the middle of the night. They've already got things packed. They're they're sneaking off the plantation and. Uh, The artwork is so good in this. Um, so they sneak out of the plantation and they get cornered by three vampires. And so they open fire on them, but unbeknownst to them, they are vampires. They get back up. And so you're scared for this little family because it's a husband and wife and they got a little girl. And the vampires get back up. And you're thinking, what do, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? It's good stuff. But then uh, this Harriet Tubman girl shows up. And 
She is a vampire slayer. That's what the whole story is about, Harriet Tubman, the demon slayer. And so she starts taking them out one by one, saving this family. But unfortunately, those three vampires aren't the only ones in the forest, so this family's got to take a re uh, run for it. They've got a uh, stage uh, covered wagon or something like that. So in issue two, which I, I got these both, uh, both of these issues from Kickstarter. Can't wait for issue three to come out because I'm definitely on board for backing that. Issue two is written by David Crownson again, and it's got a new artist on this one. A Joey Vasquez, Joey Vasquez and uh, Josh Burcham and Cortland Ellis returns on this one. But the style changed a little bit. It is a little more, I don't know, uh, a little more bombastic than the first issue. That's a good way of explaining it. I, it kind of uh, made me feel the way it was colored and the way it was drawn. Um, a little bit of that Gwen's Spider Gwen kind of flavor from uh, Jason Latour. Uh, very good stuff. Um, I can't, like I said, I can't wait to uh, get issue three. I'm following. Um, David Crownson on Kickstarter so that I will be notified the second he launches issue 3 of uh, Harriet Tubman Demon, Demon Slayer um, so there you have it issues 2 and 1, issues 1 and 2 of Harriet Tubman Demon Slayer uh, I thought I would reread those with everything that's going on right now with uh, Black History and um, Black Lives Matter. I, I'm just picking up uh, anything I can that is by black creators, uh, trying to support them. You guys should definitely check these, check this out. Uh, David Crownson, find him on Twitter or Google him. Google Harriet Tubman Demon Slayer to find your own copies. Uh, I will, ch I will post links on my uh, YouTube and. Twitter and Facebook when I post this review but yes check that out um, if you have an independent comic book that you want me to check out let me know about it I will check it out I'll probably even back it um, just let me know uh, whether you're uh, a person of color or Whatever, if you have if you have a comic book you want me to check out, just let me know it. And I'll check it out. Uh, I think that's all I have for now. Um, I have family over, so I'm gonna get back to that. And uh, I just thought I would take advantage of this quiet time with them out playing with cousins and stuff. So I'm gonna get back to family stuff and uh, say goodnight. Thank you for watching Rent Arb Studios comics and. Uh, if you want to read something free right now, uh, Peter Pan the Vampire's issues 1, 2, and 3 are free to download to your phone on IndiePlanet.com. Check those out. Anytime uh, anybody clicks on those to download them, I get a little bump in uh, the algorithm. More people can see my Peter Pan the Vampire comics, the more people that download them. So, yeah, it it's fine. Um, I... It really helps me out if you read them, and that's what I make them for. I made my P Peter Pan the Vampire comics to be read, not to just sit in a computer and never be read. They need to be put out there, downloaded, all that fun stuff. So tell your friends to read Peter Pan the Vampire. Check out Harriet Tubman, Demon Slayer. Uh, obviously, with my connection to vampires, I, I love a good vampire book. So if you have a vampire comic... Let me know about it. And this is Gary Brantner of Red Arb Studios. Goodbye.